Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you for another Two Minute Tuesday. Today we're using Texture by Devious Machines to replace some percussion with some nice character-driven textures. Super easy to do, super quick to do, obviously. It's Two Minute Tuesday, right? So I think it's best if we jump in. Before we get started, I also want to point out that inside of this track, this is what we're going to be making. And this came from this. So it's completely different, but it keeps the same rhythm. It keeps the same kind of syncopation and it just replaces it with textures. And as you can see here, I've got five different texture instances loaded up on the channel or inside of this effect rack. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. But I also wanna point out that I just did a tutorial for Plugin Boutique on using texture to make a kick drum. So if I come over here and solo this, so that's all made with texture as well. So if you wanna learn how to do that, definitely check out Plugin Boutique's channel for it. It's really, really cool. And this device is really cool. And that's why I decided to feature it in this week's Two Minute Tuesday. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this and we're gonna just do it off the top of the dome here and then drop texture on the channel and let's get started. So here's the sound out of the gate. Original. Texture. So that's only texture. And what we can do is come over here and just find a nice um, replacement sound for everything. So something like this. Perfect, it's already good. Come over here, Control G to group it. We can just come over again, 100%, find a different sound. Something like cave ambience. And I want this to kind of punch where it's kind of a higher or heavier hit on the percussion. So what I can do is pull the gate up. So I'm only getting that duh, 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 duh. All right. And see what those sound like together. Cool, and we can just duplicate that channel now and come in, that way we're still on 100% wet and find something else. There's clav in here somewhere, I wanna find it. Or eggshells or something like that. Hi-hat's an obvious way to go. Pull down the gate, pull down the limit. And maybe we can pan that a little bit. Great, duplicate, come in again, change the sound, clav. Yeah, let's turn that up. I kinda want that to be the punchy part. And that's already it. That's replacement. Those are completely replaced. Uh, the drums, if I go back to the original. And this is the replaced percussion. Completely different vibe. Still has that rhythm though, so I know it's gonna fit inside of this track. And I've completely made it my own using texture and all the great textures inside of it. We can go a bit further though if we wanted to. We can do some EQing of the noise. We can do some modulation to add a little bit more character and movement to the sound. We can come in and dial things in, but just to show you how easy it is, I wanted to do that in under two minutes using texture. And I think we've done a really great job. So let's listen to it in the context of the track. <laughs> Sounds great, right? Let's go ahead and just listen to the drums then. So this actually has more movement than the original. There's a lot more panning going on and that all has to do with texture and just simply choosing textures to replace those sounds with sounds absolutely fantastic. So I'm well on my way to making or replacing this entire set that I had with just sounds from texture. I think I might do one more tutorial for Plugin Boutique where we make the snare drum and that way, you know, we're good to go.
Very cool. So anyway, I hope you learned something. Definitely check Texture out. Really great plugin to have in your arsenal. It's available now in Plugin Boutique. Links in the video description. I'm Joshua Casper here for Two Minute Tuesdays, and I'll see you next Tuesday. Thank you.